have been working uh, at Buddhist Innovation and Design Center for the past two years on a project called Stowell with Srirang, who is a co-designer, Heyman, who is the Chief Design Officer and is with us today, uh, and Navroz Godrich. To start with, let me take you to a particular advertisement that we had shot in 1980s and a lot of you are going to remember this. I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of memories. So, Storwell was the primary gifting item to a bride by her parents throughout India for decades, even before this ad was shot. Storwell was also the first choice for office storages for decades. Now, how did it garner such an association? So, while wondering about all of this, uh, Navroz came up with a thought can Stowell become a brand relevant for today's times? So with 94 years of product history, a product being part of millions of homes and offices, thousands of internal and external stories, we had so many ways to start uh, with. But we decided to go to the Godrej archives and we found tons and tons of data that was very categorically organized. And this was a great start for us. There were catalogs of product over the years, digital and print communication over the years, people who have been part of this journey, uh, stories of customers over the years, and we were just scratching the surface by then. We all agreed upon one thing. The essence of brand store well is going to come from here. So let me take you through a story of a product called store well. But before that, we'll have to go a little back in time. In the year of 1897, a young lawyer gave up his profession and started lock making. His name was Adeshit Godrich. He was a part of the Swaraj movement and realized that for India to become self-sufficient and self-reliant, India would have to manufacture its own goods, but at a really high quality and at affordable prices. His vision was a fundamental one, a commitment to basic human values and high standard to quality and reliability. Succeeding Adesha Godrich, Hiroshi Godrich continued with the vision and the company expanded into other domains like steel safes and as a natural progression ventured into safe cabinets. Now at that time people used to keep their belongings in wooden cupboards and money and jewelry in steel safes. Godrich steel cabinet would do both and promised to provide highest amount of security from burglars to fire and even from termites. Now this was happening in both homes and offices. Through the 20s, we kept on developing the product further, adding new patents and extending our reach to different parts of the country. In the late 20s, we introduced Godrej Steel Almira. So in 30s, it started looking something like this. Uh, but the promises and the features were kind of the same. But we got rid of the ornamentation that used to be earlier and subsequently becoming more functional with more honesty as a steel, it started moving towards the form follows function philosophy of Bauhaus, which originated in Germany around the 20s. From here on, the product uh, and the aesthetics have almost remained the same. But in 1935, Naval Godrej had established the tool room at, uh, at Godrej, and this empowered us to now make our own dyes. So we further optimized the Almira, and in 1944, launched Godrej Storewell in six different sizes. You can see in the advertisement here, uh, it was positioned like a crown jewel. So this was, uh, this was around 44. India got independent around 1947, but as there was partition, displacement, poverty, famine, Nehru's answer to all of this um, was science and he wanted to uh, uh, bring an atmosphere of posit positivity. Uh, yeah. So he practically called a French architect, Le Corbusier, to design the city of Chandigarh. He was willing to let go 
of the traditional looks and uh, promoting the age of development, Storwell, with its modern aesthetics and functionality, was already in the same line. So we found a very sweet spot with the government offices across India since then. Soon after, we were facing extreme steel shortages, uh, which led us to further optimize the design and we relaunched Godrej Stowell in 49 in four different variants, but this time the outer shell would remain common and the internal configurations would keep changing. After this, the product till date has remained more or less the same. Throughout the 70s, uh, 60s and 70s, Godrej faced several other problems regarding tax rates, high tax rates, tough pride from the unorganized sectors who were copying designs, evading taxes, keeping their prices like 20 to 80 percent lower than us. So to further our reach, we became creative in advertising and we, would, we sold it on how good it was or what, what value it would stand for and we would also um, like say that you're paying just a little extra for all these or or, or, or give a challenge to the competitors out there to copy us. So in the north also we would go and sell uh, the product as more functional and in the south we would go and sell the product on finish and looks and brand but the product itself was capable of doing all of this. So you see even when we were um, facing tough times uh, we were not compromising on the fit finish and the quality of the product but we are kind of improving it further with the new technology that was coming in. In 70s, we start seeing the new brand language with the print media coming in. And in 78, we did the first market study after nearly 50 years of Godrej Almira. And we found the importance it had with the wedding season. Our salespeople started becoming creative. They reached out to bride's parents uh, and convincing them on the store well uh, before, before the marriages. Across India, in marriages, Storwell already had become an essential item of gifting to the bride. It would become her prized possession and her personal corner in the new house. This idea was later used to conceptualize the first TV advertisement in 1988 that we just saw in the beginning of the presentation. After this, till date, the product has remained more or less the same with the with its sales and with, its, with, with the design. But come 2016, we were asking two questions. What makes Storewell a Storewell? And can Storewell lead to product collections based on same ethos, opportunities and meanings? Now, to answer these questions, we tried to find the thought process behind Storewell cover itself. Why did we get into this business in 1923? Because we wanted to provide the maximum amount of home security at the best price in a good looking lifestyle furniture. We did that with the use of sheet metal, effective use of sheet metal with bent corner construction, high strength and low price. And we ended up making it manifested into the product that it is the Storewell today. Now, Stowell was rational, optimized, functional, and designed for a lifestyle. So can other products be Stowell? Yes, if they are rational, functional, optimized, and designed for a lifestyle. So we put together all of this data that we had gathered from the history of Stowell and put it along with the research on um, consumer studies, manufacturing studies, some other studies, and we identified the brand statements to be. Exploring the honest use of sheet metal in modern, modern furniture. Design products that are rational, functional and optimized. And make versatile and affordable products for home spaces. Now let me take you through the first manifestation of Storewell. System 21. System 21 is a set of 21 components in multiple different colors that can be used in different permutations and combinations to make innumerable storage solutions. System 21 has some vertical panels, baskets, shelves, drawers, back panels, strainers and other hardwares. 21 total in number. And people can 
play with all of this to create anything from media units to bedside tables to sideboards to bookshelves and whatever they want to in different colors in different formats it's only limited to people's imagination and it can go on and on just take you through the development of system 21 this is the first prototype we had made in stainless steel for system 21 and we were exploring how it's going to be used this is Hemant and Sunil sitting and testing the prototype in their own way this is the first assembly by our proto team and these are some happy customers so we've put put together a small video of how we perceive our people are going to use the product. Storewell System 21 is rational, functional, and optimized. It offers modularity and customization in the hands of customers. We aim to en enable people with, the, with a web app through which they can be a part of this journey of design. And uh, this is the way we are trying to re-establish Storewell as the contemporary brand it had always been. Legacy Storewell. Thank you.